Hey everybody, welcome to another video tutorial. You're visiting Fotini at Fotini Stamp and Spot. I'm glad everybody was able to uh, click on the YouTube channel today and watch a really quick case of a two cards that are in our Stampin' Up! catalog. Let me just, we have a lot of sun today, so I'm just wanting to grab my book. So in the catalog, there is a beautiful stamp set. Let me get that for you called Inspired Events. I just got it yesterday in the mail because I have a little special someone who's getting baptized this Sunday and perfect timing so that I can make his card. So I've been looking and looking and looking and I love this font. It is on page uh, one of 11 of the annual catalog. It's a beautiful stamp set. It's great for making invitations. It says, please join us for, and then you can utilize has this lovely font. I wish they would have had this for wedding as well or anniversary. It's such a pretty font. And then it has some really cute embellishments. So I'm going to show you how to how to make my version of these two cards down here. Um, I case them directly from the catalog. So not a whole lot of inspir thinking on my part. The inspiration was already done. So here's the first card that I kind of recreated. I didn't have the exact ribbon that's on here, but I had a retired one from last year. But of course you can purchase this smaller, I think it's an eighth of an inch ribbon. And I basically roughly did it the same way, except I used baptism instead of christening. And because it's a card that I'm giving and not inviting anyone to, I changed the congratulations on your. The only thing that I would have liked that this stamp set had um, would have been to have uh, your son, apostrophe S, and daughter's, apostrophe S. Um, it's great for of your daughter on your, but there's no son, but sons, sons, I don't know. I tried to play with that. Um, I wish it had an apostrophe S. So that's the first one. And the second one is using a large stamp that comes in it, in this bundle. And I do not have the thinlets to cut them out, so I just fussy cut that out. And this is what I was telling you. Congratulations on your sons. I had to tape it and put a little pen mark to make it look like an apostrophe. I kind of really don't like how that came out. So I think if we recreate it, I'm just going to lay, leave it out and say congratulations on your christening. Um, I just, I didn't like the way that looked. And this is really easy and it's only one layer. Um, I mean, besides this little tab here. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's make some cards. So my base for the first card is Whisper White. Pulling out my Stampin' Up! trimmer. Let's see if I can pull you guys up a little bit because there's so much sun coming in this morning. And eight and a half by 11 card stock. I'm just gonna cut it in half at five and a half. And then I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. Four, not cut. Sorry. Let's try that again. It's a good thing there's another piece. Four and a half, four and a quarter. And we're scoring it. There we go. That's better. So there's our score mark. Okay. So that's the base of that first card that we're going to make. So the DSP that I used is actually from the Coffee Break um, DSP paper pack. It has coffee beans on the other side, but I wanted something blue. Um, for the boy, but since I'm going to make a girl version, I'm going to use the Fresh Floor, I think this is called Fresh Florals in color in pink pirouette. And we're just going to cut this base here quarter of an inch smaller. So we are at five and a quarter. I, believe. I want to say five and a quarter. Yeah, five and a quarter by four and that should line up really nice right there okay and then the top piece of that um, we're going to use our scraps that we had from the other half that I made the mistake on and we're going to get it at four cross or I'm sorry let me look at this one second um, yeah, we're going to do four as far as the, le the length is concerned. And then we're going to go three and three quarters across. Be 
because I want that DSP to still come through. You can use either side. Now we're just doing this as we go, so we'll see if I like the very vanilla. It looked really well with the soft sky for the boy card. I'm not so crazy about how it looks for the girl card, so we might change the base of it. Okay. All right, well, yeah, see, I don't really like the way that looks. So how about we just do, 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 do. I know. How about we just make another boy card? That's fairly simple, right? So we'll just cut a piece of, uh, four by five and a quarter. And we'll just recreate the boy card since I don't want to waste time now searching for more DSP. And besides this blends so much better. There you go. And there's our layer on top. And then all we have to do now is some stamping. And we're going to use, um, I guess we can use congratulations on your baptism or christening. You can choose whichever one you want. How about we use christening on this card? And it has this really pretty flourish um, right here. There's two photopolymer packets for this stamp set. So we're just gonna use this bottom one just like the card, let me get it open, okay? And we're gonna line that on my block here. All right. So how I did it first was I stamped my sentiment and then I lined up the flourish after the fact. So I'm going to use Soft Sky for the flourish, but basic black for the actual sentiment. So we have our basic black ready to roll. Oh my goodness, these stamps are not staying straight. Okay, and we have here, congratulations on your, I'm gonna just put it in here in the black, just try and center it. Congratulations on your, and then we're going to use christening which I have on my big block here. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it um, about a third, two thirds of the way down because I have to fi figure I'm gonna put an embellishment of a cross and then of course that um, flourish. So I want everything to fit. I'm gonna put that maybe like right there. Okay, awesome. And then there is a little cross that out that I think is so cute and we're going to put that as well but we're going to put that right above the christening hopefully you guys can see that and you're not getting a huge sun glare okay kind of like right over the T oop that did not stamp good what's up with that Mm. Now that doesn't look so straight, does it? So how about we flip it over and do it again? That's the good thing about two-sided paper. So let's do christening. Okay, let's do the cross. We'll work backwards. I think it was because I didn't apply pressure evenly. That's better. Let's go to congratulations on yours. Okay, put that up at the top, awesome. And then we're done with the black, so let me close it before I accidentally stamp into that. And here's our soft sky, which matches with the paper. And we're gonna ink that, and we're going to turn it upside down so that the straight part is on the bottom of congratulations on your Okay, and then we'll get some more ink and we'll then flip it where the flourish is on the top. 
and put that under the christening. Obviously now I'm doing a video on this and my angle's a little off, but if you're doing this or attempting to do it at home, it would be probably helpful to use maybe some grid paper um, to make sure you align things because as I'm looking at it now, it does look a little crooked, but that's partially because of my angle of where I'm videotaping. So let's put this together. So like I said, we used um, a ribbon that is... I believe it's um, retired and it's a silver it was a combo gold and silver ribbon and I forgot to tell you to keep in mind that we're going to be adding that so but that's okay I'm st I still have room for that so I could have kind of probably closed that up a little bit but that's all right again it's a handmade card and handmade cards aren't perfect so I'm just going to use a little bit of tape to tape down this bottom of this yeah, I'm going to put it down here, just like the card in the picture. And I probably could have lined it up a little bit better, but I'm not going to worry about it. And let's put that here. Roll it over. I should have left a little more room. Line that up there, and we'll cut off the extra. Okay. So all we have to do now is just put this together. Snail or fast fuse, whichever, or Tombow, whatever your, whatever your uh, preference. Try and get it in the middle. There you go. And then put some more on the back. line that up and the only other little bit that we have to do is I put a bow right in the center here and just tied a knot not even a real bow just a knot right in the center of where the flourish is and then I cut it to the length of my stamped image so it all is symmetrical here you go and that's card number one cased from the catalog, uh, from the annual catalog. Um, actually, you know, I could have moved this up a little to give it some space, but that's okay. It still, it still looks very pretty. So that's card number one. Card number two, we will try to do this one in pink. So this one is actually in the matte catalog in pink, and we're going to recreate it, and all it is is one layer with a little bit of um, very vanilla, and some stamping off this off to the side. So, okay. So here is a piece of blushing bride, and again we're cutting it down eight and a half by eleven. We're cutting it at five and a half, and then we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Remember to score, not to cut. Okay. And while this is out. We also need a piece of very vanilla cut at one inch by five okay, to do stamping. And you'll need a piece of scrap to make this flower as well. So this stamp, I'm using this really big stamping block. I believe it's block, it says I, I guess on it, because the image that we're going to use is really big. And if you don't have a block like this, you can get this in our catalog. Um, you can get it as a whole bundle of blocks, like I have here, let me show you. This is my caddy. And it has all the blocks. You can get them all in one group and save um, some on that, or you can get them individually. So we're going to use this block right here. And these are great for really big images as well as really tiny images. So we're going to use this block, and we're going to use this gate uh, stamp. And I'm just going to line it up to the bottom of my stamp as close as to the edge as I can and making sure that it's straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up stamping with the straight part down 
and then flipping it and do the straight part up. So we're gonna just leave a border where we're gonna add our paper, okay? I'm just gonna get a little scrap paper because I end up stamping off of here because the stamp is not as big as the paper. So I'm also gonna use Blushing Bride Stamping Ink Pad. Okay. And we're going to ink it up and we'll have to do it in two steps because the stamp set isn't wide enough. Of course, had I rearranged my card the other direction, it probably would have been fine, but that's okay. I wanna also show how easy it is for you to line up the photopolymer um, because you can see right through it. So I'm just lining up basically where my score line is. And I'm just gonna push down. Okay, now see how it ends right here? We're just gonna take that half of my stamp and I'm gonna line it as best I can. And just come down. It's okay if it's a little crooked. Like I said, it is, it's pretty okay, right? We might not even see this once we put our paper. We'll do the same thing, flip it the other way. Now on the bottom half, we're not gonna get the that pointed part to show. We're kind of going to stop probably right around the heart because it's gonna get cut off. Because I want the paper to sit like right there in the middle. So, I want the other line to show. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to end up cutting off that point, uh, stamping off. So I just kind of put this here as a guide of where I'm going to be. And I know that I'm going to be cutting some of that off. Okay. And then continue it. It's kind of hard to see from here. All right, so actually that didn't stamp so great, but like I said, our paper is going to kind of go right there, so it, it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. So the other thing we're going to stamp is, I guess we could do the reverse. Congratulations on your baptism using Soft Sky and Basic Black to stamp on this image. So... The christening or the baptism, whichever word you decide to use, um, on the first card that I did, I stamped off and then I stamped uh, the second round onto the paper to give it more of a gray look. But this time we're just going to go full, full uh, black on it to see how that comes out. I'm sure it'll come out beautiful. Okay, and we're going to stamp congratulations on your in blushing bride okay so we're going to do the christening first because it's the bigger image I want to make sure it sits nice on my paper so I'm going to take it here to the edge okay great and then we're going to go to congratulations on your and just kind of move it over center it okay and it's okay that I have extra space here because we're going to um, do a two-step stamping of the flower and it's kind of going to go right down here so it's fine okay so that's basically ready we can attach this on okay and of course you could add more embellishments but like I said I'm casing this right out of the catalog so now for the next step um, you just need a piece of, of the pink cardstock, Blushing Bride, and we're going to do two-step stamping. Two-step stamping is when the stamp set has um, a blackened out image as well as a detailed image. So both of these, this is the top layer of this. This is, the, okay, so you understand? So you stamp on one and then you stamp the other one on top to get the detail. So I'm gonna take these two out. And these two out and I believe if I'm not mistaken that there is a matching um, maybe you can see I don't 
don't know if there is a matching die cut for them, but we're going to do our best. I'm going to also do two step stamping with stamping off on the same color. So which what I mean is we're going to use a Blushing Bride to give two different color shades. So what I like to do is do um, the solid first and I line up my block so that it's pointed up just to be consistent with how I stamp. So I'm going to take the Blushing Bride, I'm going to stamp once down and then the second time I'm going to stamp on my card which is really light, really light, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with the other bigger flower. Again, I'm lining it up so this point here is to the top. That way I know that that's how I'm gonna line up my other layer. Take that, again, I'm gonna stamp off, and then I'm gonna come down and stamp again here. Okay, so we, very light, and, and it's on purpose I'm doing it that way. So now I'm taking the second stage. Some people do it reverse. They do this one first and then the dry, whatever floats your boat, but I'm just showing you, this is the way that I do it. And this is the more detailed. So now we're just gonna do it full strength and get up good. And because I lined it up with the point showing, see, we're gonna just go right over here. And we'll line that up. I'm going to get the bigger one. Same thing. I'm going to take the point. See that point? I'm going to go full and I'm going to line it up. Okay, so it gives you this really, new, really cute look of blushing bride on blushing bride on blushing bride. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to fussy cut this, so bear with me. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And all we have to do is take some dimensionals, and I have some leftover dimensionals, and I'm just going to add one on the back of here and two on the back of here, and we have our christening card for a little girl. Okay, and we could take this one, and we're just going to maybe put one right here because it's so pretty and take off the backing of that one. Of course, don't have it show. Let's snip this off a little. Okay, we'll put that maybe right here. Okay, and just for a little bit of, because I got a new toy, I got Wink of Stella. I've seen people use this and I wanted to see for myself up close and it's really cool. It gives this really pretty glistening effect. And you just squeeze it and you just brush it on and it gives like a little shimmering effect on those flowers. Just a little something for this little girl. Okay. And then of course, you get your bone folder with your hand and there you go. You have yourself the female version of this mail card, of this christening card. So I hope you guys had a fun time watching these two um, card cased out of the catalog and that you try the stamp set and try it on your own. This is a great set for making invitations um, and even for giving a christening card, baptism cards, and I believe First Communion is on here. Um, at first communion and confirmation again inspired events. I hope you guys liked the video Please click like and subscribe if you did so that you can catch me on some other videos that I post and 
for any information about how to order the supplies I used for this, there will be a description in the um, a link in the description below. Just go ahead, click to that, and you go right to my shopping page, and you'll be able to order everything from there. Don't forget, we're in October, so we have an October uh, host code, and that will be also in the description below. Make sure you use that if you're going to check out an order before shipping and tax that is under $150 so that you can get a special thanks from me in the mail. I won't know that you ordered it, um, for the October code if you don't use it. And also we have a couple other specials going on with Stampin' Up! So please make sure to check those links below. We have some fast views um, on, say, on, a, on a great discounted price. If you buy, you get some free as well as designer series paper. Buy three packs and get one free, which is spectacular. And you don't have to buy three of the same. So you can get all the designer papers that you would like uh, or have been have on your wish list. Um, you can get them now and get one of those for free. Thanks, everybody. I hope you guys liked the video. And please come back again real soon. Have a great day.